environment is everything that surrounds both living beings and non-living beings. Each living being needs a specific environment that fulfills its needs in order for it to survive. Both living things and non-living things make up an ecosystem. An environment has a specific climate that determines an ecosystem. Plants and animals conform the living parts of an ecosystem. The non-living parts are the air, soil, and water. Some animals may live in the same ecosystem, but not on the exact same place. For example, birds live on trees, snails live between plants, and fish live in water. Each of these animals has their own habitat. There may be a frog population or a fish population. Together, they form a community. Living things of an ecosystem depend on one another. For example, bears eat fruits to gain energy. Once they are done digesting the fruit, they drop the fruit seeds into the soil after excretion, allowing new plants to grow in that specific location. There is a great variety of different types of ecosystems on Earth. Ecosystems can be divided into two groups, land ecosystems and aquatic ecosystems. Here are some examples of land ecosystems. Desert, grassland, coniferous forest, rainforest, and tundra. Here are some examples of aquatic ecosystems, freshwater ecosystems, and saltwater ecosystems. Over time, an ecosystem may undergo natural changes. These changes may be caused by humans building houses or by animals constructing shelters. An ecosystem may be destroyed either by fires, earthquakes, floods, eruptions, or any other natural disaster. These changes may cause many damages to a species and can even lead to its death. Ecosystems provide humans with many unique and useful resources. However, humans must take care not to overexploit ecosystems because many of the resources within them are also vital for the survival of many species within said ecosystem. Think about the many different ways in which you can help to protect the ecosystems near you. What can you do to help?